Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and for the first time ever we are going to be going over an Aritzia collaboration with Asics on one of my favorite silhouettes. This is the Gel Keanu 14 and this colorway is the white and black color scheme. Let's take a quick sneak peek. <music> to another unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time welcome in today we're going to be going over the most recent collaboration done with asics and aritzia and this is the gel keanu 14 silhouette again one of my favorites just because i think this is an amazing lifestyle sneaker that you could really dress up and down so we'll go through the overview of these jump into size and fit followed by how i style this classy color scheme then we'll conclude with how well these are actually doing on the resale market. Let's jump right into it. So I have always been a longtime fan of Aritzia. It is something that I have continuously styled in my wardrobe. So it was only fitting that I had to snag a pair of these sneakers. Unfortunately, when these did release, they released at 3 a.m. New York time. So I was able to actually only get one colorway. I wasn't able to get this black and white tone. So the release did have three colorway options, a green and white, a silver, and then this black and white tone. Uh, so I actually went to the store in Soho because I did see that they actually had one left in my size. For most of you, you know, one size left typically means that they're out and they just can't find it. But when I went to the store, they were able to snag me a pair of these. So I was very fortunate to get the very, very last one at that Soho store. Uh, so for those of you who are joining us for the first time, because you are long term, I'm Aritzia fan, welcome in. Was really excited to see this collaboration because I think it was very well done. As far as the color scheme for the upper, it's completely covered, uh, I guess the majority pretty much covered in white. So you can see that the meshing is white and then we do have some of this kind of nice cream sail tone on the front of the toe box. And then the laces are very simplistic in a white color scheme. And then we've got more of that cream tone and then nice hues of this metallic silver, which hit that branding, giving it again, just a more upscale look and feel. As far as the laces that we get additionally, we do get a cream set, which I do love. I may actually swap these out just because I feel like this may give it a more vintage vibe. This colorway does kind of remind me of the jound uh, color scheme. So let me just kind of bring this one over. You can kind of see the similarities in the tones here. So not extremely different. I do feel like it kind of copies from the jound in my opinion. Um, if I were to compare the two, I feel like this is just more simplified. It's not as in your face because there's not as much metallic on this color scheme. So if you are looking for more of a natural tone, this may be the color scheme for you. As far as the lace system goes, we do have on the eyelets here more of that just really simple cream hue. Let's take a look at those details and move along to the side paneling. So wrapping around to the side panels for the tiger stripes on the side for the medial side of the sneaker, we've got a nice metallic black colorway with some white in between. And then it's fully covered in that white metallic mesh. 
As we work our way to the back of the heel, we do have this nice metallic champagne finish. I really love the tone that they decided to go with. It's very neutral and simple, but definitely gives it a pop. Then we've got the gel, which is nicely in, uh, placed in that nice silver tone. The interior has Aritzi on the insole on one of the sneakers, Asics on the other, and it is in a nice cream finish. And then wrapping around to the lateral side, this is where we're getting the Chell Keanu 14 logo and branding, again on that champagne tone, and the same exact color blocking as the medial side we're seeing also on the lateral side of the sneaker itself. Wrapping around to the bottom of the sneaker, we've got a simple white midsole, and then the bottom has kind of a translucent cream tone, as well as some nice cream finishes for the rest of the sneaker with white in between. As far as the box goes, I really love that they decided to go with a green box. I think it's very fitting, gives it a bit more of an upscale feel, uh, but that is the packaging altogether. Let's take a look at all of those last and final details. size and fit goes, I would say that I would stick true to size if you have narrow feet like myself. This does fit narrow feet, I feel like a little bit better than someone who may have wider feet. And this also did come in men's sizing. So do take that into consideration when looking up this sneaker, if you're trying to go after it. This did not actually go for women's uh, size ranges, it was in men's. All right, so now let's talk about how I style this. All the pieces that I wore were from Aritzia, so I will have those linked in the description box if you're interested in any of those pieces. For the first look, I decided to keep it pretty simple but sheen with a nice metallic light blue skirt and a matching ribbed blouse that was in a blue tone. Nice, simple, and monochromatic. Definitely wasn't the exact color that I saw on the sneaker itself, but this sneaker really, I feel it can go with any colorway option. I kept it again monochromatic with a maxi long sleeve tight fitted dress in a charcoal gray tone. Definitely a more dressier feel, but I feel like again, this sneaker is sneaker meant to actually dress up just because of all the metallic cues you see that are present throughout. Then for the last and final look, I decided to keep it a little more casual with a body tight fitted white tank. And then I wore some just simple charcoal gray cargo pants.
All right, so as far as the retail goes, these retailed at $160. They're currently going between $200 to $350. So as you can see, a lot of diehard fans of Aritzia are probably trying to snag a pair of these because this is a beautifully done sneaker as far as the color scheme goes. And again, just an all around great, comfortable sneaker. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We will catch you all next episode. Yeah, you and me fight.